Good evening, everyone. It's George with a cross country mission. How's everyone doing this evening? I love this song, man. Every time, every time I try to stay, stop. Mm. Every time. All those lonely roads that I have traveled on. Woo! There was Jesus. Mm. My God, my God. Ain't that the truth, right? I couldn't do nothing without Jesus. I can't breathe without Jesus. I can't walk with I can't do nothing without Jesus, huh? So I'm going to share a story with you today on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Sunday we had. Me and the wife spent the weekend down at my in-laws down in Springfield uh, with her mom and dad. What a great, great visit we had. We're so happy to be back alive. Praise God. But I just want to share this story with you. I was, uh, I was talking to this young man the other day, and I was telling him the story of creation, right? And you know, you know how I get to go, and I'm like, in the beginning was, when it says, in the beginning he created a female and male young man. Male and female he created them. I said, you know what their names is? He said, Adam and Eve. I said, that's right, that's right, that's right. Adam and Eve. So in the beginning God created them. And uh, it was just funny because he, he looked at me. He gave me a response that, that I hadn't quite expected because I'm already like five or six sentences ahead in my thinking, right? Where I'm going with this. And uh, he stopped me. He's like, well, where are they at now? They in heaven? You know, just he said, well, where are they now? And just kind of, I, I got through it. And then I'm confident with my answer, but I didn't handle the situation as good as I could. So I wanted to go back and then read it more to reassure myself that I gave the young man the right answer because what he said he's like well if it's the original sin you know how'd they get back into heaven well of course they did but here I just want to share with you what I found right and then Genesis here and this goes back to to raising up a child in the way that they should go and they will not depart from it anyway you as a parent you get the knowledge that you learned in your life and you pass it down to your children Right? And hopefully you learned something in your life about right from wrong, light from darkness. But here's what, here's why I'm so positive, so positive, that God the Father has allowed Adam and Eve back into heaven. All through the Old Testament, even into the New Testament, the only thing God requires is for you to repent for your sins. Even in the Old Testament, repent. And they offer up sacrifices, right, in the Old Testament for the forgiveness of sins. But in the New Testament, God give us Jesus. Jesus is the ultimate sacrifice. So we don't have to make blood sacrifices unto God no more. Jesus sacrificed himself once and for all, for everybody, all of mankind. White, white uh, black, yellow, it don't matter what your skin color, what your nationality is. Because I'm telling you what, you got children of God and you got the, the children of God that are lost. God gave every single one of us the spirit. That makes our heart beat. Okay? Anyway, I want to get into that. So I want to go to the direct descendants, the first two children of Cain or of, of Adam and Eve. And I want to look at what they was doing. And this, and through what they was doing, we can derive that Adam and Eve taught them to offer sacrifices for their sins. The very first time it's ever recorded. He says, Adam made love to his wife Eve, and she became pregnant. And gave birth to Cain. She said, with the help of the Lord, I brought forth a man. Later, she gave birth to his brother Abel. It says, now Abel kept flocks and Cain worked the soil. In the course of time, Cain brought some of his fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. So Cain, I could just see him walking through his, his, his garden that he's got going on here. He's got apple trees, he's got orchards, you know, he's got some pears going on he takes them up and he offers them to the lord as a sacrifice or as, a, as an offering to the lord and abel at that time also abel brought an offering fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock so he had shed some blood and, and brought him the fat offerings from his firstborns of his flock he brought to god god sent down a poof and he accepted abel's offerings but he didn't accept cain's offerings he said, the Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offerings, but on Cain, his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain was angry. He was very angry, and his face was downcast. 
But the thing I want you to take out of this story is that Adam and Eve taught their children how to make sacrifices unto God for the forgiveness of their sins. Amen? So in the Old Testament, it was always a blood sacrifice from the beginning of time. It was a blood sacrifice. So of course, Adam and Eve in due time, when Jesus came and he made his sacrifice and everybody was allowed to get back into heaven. Everybody went from paradise, went from Abraham's bosom into heaven, into the kingdom of God. Now we have a direct line because of what Jesus did. But I guarantee you, I know in my heart, I've prayed about it. I feel like the Lord has given me the answer without a doubt. Adam and Eve, we will see. They're in the kingdom of God in, in, with Jesus. And with all of our ancestors that, that knew the Lord, um, that had called on the name of Jesus. We're going to see all them too. I love you. Jesus loves you. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're having a great day. I, I continue to pray, myself and my wife, for all those that are sick. Um, we've, had, we've lost a few people here recently to, to this terrible disease of cancer. Uh, but, but we know that our God is mighty to save and absent from the body is present with the Lord. And, and we hold strong to that. And we have faith in, in our Lord Jesus Christ. And if you're still going through that thing, um, I pray for you. I love you. Jesus loves you. Your family loves you. I pray that your family is strengthened spiritually so that they can get through this. And I, I pray that you have no fear going in to this new part of a of existence in this new new exciting realm of your life into eternity with God the Father through the Son. Amen. I love you. Jesus loves you. God bless you. God bless all that you love. God bless America. Y'all have a great day and uh, be blessed. Be blessed.